Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Well, Christmas is just around the corner or whatever holiday you are celebrating, it is just around the corner. And this is the perfect season for gift giving. And who doesn't like to make their dollar stretch? I know I do. So let's do my top 10 favorite affordable or favorite cheapy fragrances perfect for wintertime. Let's go ahead and get started. The first fragrance I have, this is an amazing cheapy fragrance. It's this one by Salvatore Ferragamo. That's right, this is Aqua Essential Blue. This fragrance is so amazing for the price. It is really beast mode. I get a lot, a lot of longevity, a lot of projection out of this one. And this is so versatile because you can wear it for any occasion, every year, all season. And if you're one of those folks who is just stopping by, I purposely put it first because I know some of you just want one fragrance, you're not a collector, and all you need is one fragrance for life or some kind of a signature scent, and this one will definitely do it. If you can see, I put quite a dent in this one because I really like this one, so I stand by what I'm saying here. This fragrance is spectacular. Let's spray it real quick. So beautiful. This is considered a blue fragrance because it's got the, the note of Ambroxan in there, which helps this fragrance last, at least on my skin. So it's got a gorgeous Ambroxan note in there, which is a synthetic note. But on the top, you've got your lemons, you've got your woody aspects. You guys, just think of Blue Day Chanel or maybe Dylan Blue from Versace. If you combine those two fragrances, you have this fragrance right here, which is absolutely amazing. And then when it starts to dry down, you get a little bit of vanilla, but I love, love, love this fragrance. And you guys can get this fragrance for a very, very good price. And I'm gonna use Fragrance Net for like all my prices. But I think this fragrance will go right around $38 for a tester, which is what I have right here, and it doesn't have the cap. All right, next fragrance I wanna talk about is another amazing cheapy. This one is really, really cheap. You can get this one at a really good price. And again, I use the Fragrance Net prices. But on Fragrance Net, this is $24. I got it cheaper than that in one of the box stores. By box stores, I mean Marshalls or you know uh, TJ Maxx or Burlington Coat Factory. You can find it for cheaper than $24 if you look there. But C CK Shock is one of my favorite fragrances. It's a really, really nice, nice tobacco fragrance. The tobacco in here is not harsh. It doesn't, it's not gonna scare you away if you don't like tobacco note in fragrances. It is really, really nice. This fragrance is really smooth, really mass appealing. And uh, you know, for the price, it's pretty, pretty good. It doesn't last all that long like the first fragrance I just talked about. I usually get about six hours on my skin with this one. It's got the lavender in the top. It's got this unusual cucumber note in here as well that gives it a nice freshness. Then you've got a little bit of spiciness from the cardamom and, of course, the tobacco. But this is an absolutely amazing fragrance. You guys need to try it. It's one of my favorites. All right, next fragrance on my list is another amazing cheapie. I actually think this fragrance is more versatile than it's given credit for, but it always pops up around this time of year because I think people associate suede and leather fragrances for winter. But this fragrance is fresh enough to wear all year round, but I'm going to put it on the list because it is a cheapie. And this is from John Barbatos, and this is called Vintage. I love this fragrance, and one of the reasons why I like it so much is because it's got a rhubarb note up top and quince. And this fragrance is just so fresh and so juicy on the top. It almost reminds me of a more updated version of Ralph Lauren's Polo Green. And I think the reason why it does that is that it has so much fur, so many fur notes in here. It's like, you know, like an evergreen accord, if you will, making this a little bit resinous. But again, this is just such a nice fragrance. And of course, if you can't tell already, you've got uh, some suede in here, you know, thus the leather looking label. And then you've got some tobacco as well. But this is one of my favorite fragrances. It's just so elegant. I think you can wear this in the office. You can wear it for a special occasion. You can wear it on a date. This is really going to work for any situation. And uh, you can find this for around 32-ish. And I'm going to try to keep all these prices, just so you guys know, under 40 bucks. We just celebrated Halloween, right? This is a great fall fragrance, but it's also an amazing winter fragrance. This is called Halloween Man X. You can find this for around 40 bucks on FragranceNet, or who knows, maybe cheaper in one of your box stores. But this one is so good. It has got an amazing coffee note in here. On the top, you've got lavender. I really love the way the lavender plays with that coffee note. It's so good. You've got some whiskey, some cinnamon. It is one of my favorite fragrances, and for the price, to me, this is really, really good quality. Really, really good, blended well. It's just 
one of my favorites, guys. You definitely got to try it. I get about six hours on my skin, so uh, not, not too bad on longevity, but still, a lot of these fragrances aren't going to be beast mode. Some of them will surprise you, but you know, for the price, it's all about the scent and smelling good and saving money. All right, we're going to go to a uh, niche indie brand, okay? This is not a fragrance you're going to find in the stores or any of the box stores. You're going to have to go online and look at it, but this is from one of my favorite companies. It's called Authenticity Perfumes. And this fragrance right here, since we were just talking about coffee, is another amazing coffee fragrance. And if you haven't guessed it, the prominent note in this is coffee. And you can pick this fragrance up for around $40. But I think if you go to the site, across the screen, there's like a Chiron. And it gives you a 15% off uh, discount code that you can use to save some money. So it takes it well below the $40 price range. This is so good. You've got some vanilla in here. You've got some coffee. This fragrance is so sticky and so sweet. A little bit of some woody aspects to it as well. I really, really like this fragrance. And I don't know what it is because I didn't see it in the note listing, but there's also like this maple syrup accord that I really noticed in here and so did the rest of my family. So this is just a really fun, flirty fragrance. There's vanilla in here, coconut, cinnamon. So good, guys. I really like this one. And this one, eight plus hours. So if you are looking to save some money, and get a little bit of longevity, eight plus hours on my skin, this goes beast mode. All right, I'm gonna stick with that indie niche house theme. We're gonna head on over to the website Sensual Obsessions. You need to check this out. Honestly, guys, I'm not just saying this. It's probably my favorite fragrance in this whole list. And one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, there is a niche fragrance house, a very luxurious fragrance house where the fragrances are 300, 400, whatever, on up. And they make this fragrance called Andy Warhol after the artist Andy Warhol. And it's from Bond Number 9. Well, that fragrance is discontinued. I think it's like $300, $400, $500 because it's hard to find and it was a great scent. Well, Sensual Obsessions has you covered because they make a dupe or they make a clone. And this is a clone of Andy Warhol. Oh, amazing. Now, this has since been updated. So they have Andy Warhol 2.0 where the plum is way more prevalent. I need to get that one because I love this one right here and that one must be spectacular. Plum is the note along with oud and vanilla. So much depth, so much richness. I don't really wear it that much because I love it so much. I know that's kind of sad. I, I don't want to run out, but uh, I love, love, love this one. Plum, vanilla, oud, and you can find this for around 30 bucks on the Sensual Obsessions site and I get eight plus hours on my skin and the scent projection bubble is massive. All right, last indie niche fragrance house, and then we'll go back to the designers. This is from my good friend, Sammy Andreas. Check out his YouTube channel. If any of you are from the Latino community, he has a massive YouTube channel, and he has his own fragrance house. And this one right here is called Angels in Heaven. And if any of you like the fragrance house Killian, this is a dupe or a clone or an inspiration of Angel Share by Killian. So amazing, guys. This fragrance is gorgeous. Cognac, cinnamon, tonka, oak, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. Praline, oak, vanilla, sandalwood. Man, that is amazing. Let's spray this one. <laughs> Man, this is really good. I've had a little decant of Angel Share by Killian, and it was amazing. And this is pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. And for 30 bucks, y'all, you can't beat it. This is an eight hour fragrance. All of Sammy's fragrances last a long time on me. And this one smells really good. If you like a fragrance that has a boozy aspect to it, you're gonna love Angels in Heaven, the dupe of Angel Share by Killian. All right, guys, I just picked this one up the other day out of nostalgia. This is one of the fragrances I was rocking in the early 90s, back when Nirvana was ruling the airways, okay? Back when I had so much hope for this country and everything just seemed so amazing because I was young and naive in the 90s. Guys, this was a fragrance I was rocking as a signature scent. This is from Nicole Miller. I just picked this up from Burlington Coat Factory, which is considered a box store for 10 bucks. You can find it here on Fragrance Snap for around 14. This is so good, just because it reminds me of my childhood. Now, when I'm smelling this, I feel like it might have been reformulated because I feel like I liked it a little bit more when I was younger. Who knows, maybe my taste have changed. This has a slightly synthetic top, but the dry down is amazing because there's vanilla in here, there's amber, and it warms way up. I think there's even a suede note as well. 
and it's just so so nice and i think that the prevalent ingredients you're going to get in here is honey but it's not super linear it's not super strong but you got honey amber and vanilla what's not to like about this fragrance i wish it lasted more than an hour but for 10 bucks i'm not going to cry so i try to heavily spray this one and spray it on clothes but uh this one is really really good I just Try this one right here because of the honey note, the vanilla, the amber. You guys are going to like this one. I think there's a su there's suede going on in this, well, this one too. This is called Nicole Miller, and this one is from the 90s. <laughs> Let's go. Christmas in a bottle, right? This, this fragrance is already gift wrapped for you, as you can tell. See? Beautiful. Burberry London. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. This is a cool, cool tobacco fragrance. This is dubbed Christmas in a bottle, as I've said already. And I always like to paint a picture when I describe this fragrance. This reminds me of like sitting in a coffee house where you smell all the cinnamon and nutmeg and the beautiful vanilla and all that, those beautiful aromas while you're sitting in a coffee house. And then maybe over in the corner is a real live, you know, green Christmas tree. So you get a little bit of resinous evergreen in this fragrance. You know, this is very, very, very nice. I love this fragrance. There's something so cozy and so comforting about it. It's one of my favorites. There's cinnamon here. There's lavender. A little bit of leather and tobacco, but it's one of my favorite scents. Very, very balsamic. I love this fragrance. You know, just sticky and sweet and warm. Love, love, love it. All right, last but not least, a very, very versatile fragrance. Again, if you're just looking for one scent for life, something that's versatile, try this one right here. This is from the house of Mont Blanc. This is called Legend. I love this line. I love everything from Mont Blanc in the Legend line, Legend Spirit. This is just one of my favorites right here. Legend is so good because it reminds me of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. It's a little bit different, but it's so good because it's got that red apple note that I really, really like. It's got that pineapple that everybody's using now, you know, because of Creed Aventus. It's got pineapple in the DNA. The pineapple is really juicy. Now, there's a lot of, lot of embroxin in this fragrance. It's very, very heavy. And then you're also going to get, you know, that, that coumarin as well, which makes it spicy. And uh, it's just really beautiful. It's got a vanilla like dry down as well. This fragrance goes uh, somewhere between six and eight hours on my skin, but I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites and you can wear it for any situation. It's got a nice scent trail. So you guys definitely give this one a try. And I think you can find this one for like around $32, somewhere around that. And if I didn't say for this one, I apologize. This one you can find around 33. So there you have it, 33 for this one and around 32. And that's all fragrance net. Uh, is what I used except for the Indian niche houses. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 favorite winter fragrances on the cheap side. We all love our cheapies. We all love our affordable fragrances. Let me know how I did. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments if it's your first time here or if you're just joining. I'd love to have you be a part of my fragrance family. And to all of you who have been around for a while and have a big fragrance collection, please help the viewers and leave your list down below of your favorite affordable cheapy fragrances. I'd like to learn from you too because I can just add it to my ever-growing list. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you have an amazing weekend and thank you so much for being here. I love you. I can't wait to see you in the next video and I hope wherever you are you're finding peace and happiness.